Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Felsbrunn. We're still working away down on the main farm here. Uh, we've got some good stuff going on today. What I want to do is uh, get some corn going because we don't have much for corn. And we got our pigs to take care of. We got, oh man, we've got so many animals right now. There's just so much going on. <laughs> I've got to keep my head on straight right now. Just trying to keep track of everything that's going on around here. Oh, I left that weight sitting there too. I can see it sitting by the water tank there. Anyways. Uh, what are we doing over here? Well, we've got one more field that's just being harvested. Uh, the canola field is half ready, so I've harvested what I can, but yeah, still not quite down over the far side over there. We've got one more field of, uh, what is this over here? The soybeans on the far side of our header rack there that's not quite ready, but hopefully soon. But other than that, uh, let's get going here. Let's get this across. I've got uh, this big field here that needs lime. Actually, this field that we're on will need lime as well. But uh, the one just on the other side needs lime before we plant. Now, I'm going to be doing corn, I believe, over here. Yeah, we're going to get in the corn business. We need to... Uh, that's going to be... That's the main substance for pig food, right? Is corn, so... I need to really kind of focus on that, I think, for right now. Uh, that's going to be our... Our primary focus for the next little bit is getting some corn going because I don't have any corn. Um, pretty much for our pigs, they're fully reliant just on pig food right now. I don't want that. Uh, it's okay. Like It's not like it's that much more money in the grand scheme of things. Let's see if we're going to go all the way to the end here. We'll zip back around. Um, but it just takes... It's just so much work to move all those little bales over because you don't have a lot of them, right? I don't know how our cedar missed all this last time. <laughs> uh, just because, yeah, you, you need a lot of these little bales in order to to affect enough, uh, to, to fill it up enough to make a difference. And I just don't want to deal with that. I'd just rather have a tipper that can drop what I need into the trough and be done with it. That being said, okay, the devil's advocate here once again, because I know I've been fighting with this one. Um, the big bags, the, feet, the, the pig food big bags, they have all four of the required food. So you don't have to mess around with that. It's kind of nice that way, isn't it? Right? I don't know. I don't know if that's the best reason for it or not. So, uh, let's see. He's almost done over there, it looks like. Yeah, he's going to be done in a heartbeat. Uh, we've got quite a bit left to do for lime here. We're going to have to lime the next... Uh, you know what? We don't have to lime the canola field. Just these two right here, I think. If, I hope. I hope. We'll see. Ooh, make sure we get close enough here. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Alright, well, let's. Uh, I'm going to finish off liming this here field up, guys. We're going to get the seeding and uh, see what other options I have available. What else we're going to need to do here. I don't think I'm going to need this whole field for... Ah, you know what? I got a plan. I got a plan. I think I know what I'm going to do here. We'll see. We'll see how this works out. I can't guarantee it's going to be great, but... <laughs> It'll be interesting. Anyways, let's get to work, guys. Pitter patter. <laughs> All right, guys. So you've been hearing me complain uh, lately that I haven't had, I don't have enough uh, silage, enough hay for, what am I looking for? The cows. That's right. I, I'm running out of ways of making TMR. Um... This is the equipment. Okay, so now if we don't include, what is it? The, the, the combine over there, obviously. But in order to make silage and hay bales, this is the equipment we need. This is all of it. Like, there's a ton of equipment here, and this doesn't even include the silage bale wrapper, uh, the hay bale wrapper. So I'm, I've got that back at the farm. But uh, <laughs> this is crazy the amount of equipment I need to do this. There's got to be a better way. I'm going to need to think of this later on, but... Uh, this is just a ridiculous amount of equipment, I think, to do this. I need to cut the grass to start with. I need to tend the grass afterwards. And then, once I've done all that, then I can finally go and windrow it and then bale it. Like, is there not a better way <laughs> if I need to make bales? Come on. And then even if I, if I need silage bales, i got to wrap the bales afterwards. Like, there's just, oh, there's just so many things that need to happen. Now, I mean, I could change the uh, grass cutting implement up and just go with one that's with a tractor and then Ted as I cut. That would be an option. I don't know if that's my best option, but it's an option. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
And then the problem is if I ted as I cut, I cannot turn that into silage either because that turns it into hay right away. And for silage, obviously, you need to have grass. So you need to make a distinct difference between what you cut and what you ted, if that makes any sense. What is going on here? Why are you going all over the map? Why are you not straight? It doesn't make a difference anyways, that's okay. Let's scooch back this way from here. Yeah, since we need to ted this anyways, I'm not overly concerned that that did that. We'll ted this side, I suppose. Um, I do need to do, I need to get more hay than grass, or than, yeah, more hay than uh, silage anyways. Where am I going? So we'll worry about just getting hay bales, uh, and then maybe we'll do a few at the end that will be um, just a silage bale. So we'll leave the grass as is, and uh, yeah. Now the problem with that is you gotta really recognize which one is the grass and which one is not, because it looks kind of similar once they're uh, all stacked up side by side. It's kind of interesting that way. There should be a darker green versus a, a lighter green, but anyways, yeah, you can tell, I guess, but just got to make sure you're on top of it. All right, guys, well, I'm going to finish off this little job here. We'll see. Well, once we get this done, uh, I'm going to get that tethered. You can uh, come along with the ride. We'll get that going, and we'll start tedding some of this stuff, I believe, uh, the second half here. We'll, no, we'll have to, yeah, we're tedding that first half. Never mind. And then we'll, uh, we'll make silage out of the rest. So well, let's just finish this up, and I'll grab the tether. All right, tedding time. Now, I thought there was a tedder that you could install a windrower right behind it, but I'm thinking of previous titles. Um, doesn't seem to be an option that I can see right now. That would be way easier. <laughs> Let's zip back this way. Perfect. And zip in here as well. Anyways, that would make my life about 10 times easier. <laughs> it's just one extra trip. Okay, not 10 times, half is easy. Um, it's just funny that there's so many trips you have to make in order to do this, to get this done. Um, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> oh no. Come on out, thank you. Yeah, it'd be nice if you could put a couple things on, you know, have a tether with a windrower and then the uh, bale, the baler right behind that. That would be ideal. <laughs> you could do it all in one sw one fell swoop. Perfect. I'm in. Uh, come on, hurry up. Get going. All right. So we've got to uh, get this. I'm gonna get this all tethered. I'm gonna do all hay bales in here. I cannot believe you ran out of hay bales last time. So I'm going to hay bale all of this up. I think. Uh, maybe not the end. I don't know yet. Let's take a look. We'll see how far we get here. I wouldn't mind getting like a truckload of each, to be perfectly honest, but I still have some silage bales back at the farm here. So do I need to keep on going this way? Oh, man. We just need so many more hay bales just simply because the horses eat hay as well. So maybe I'm better off just hay or baling all this with hay. Yeah, I think that's going to be what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it all, hay it all. And we won't worry about uh, silage for the time being. Um, there is another grass field I think I own. I don't. Maybe I can buy it. But um, just over on that side, over towards the animal farm, that that might be a good idea to... Uh, I might do that one with silage, just to get a little bit of silage. We don't need a lot, obviously. But that might be an option as well. So I'll finish this off here, and uh, let's go grab the wind rower. Get her going. Uh, we somehow managed to uh, get a road sign out in the middle here. I'll be curious to see what happens here. <laughs> Let's see if we can hit it with the old wind roar. Ah, it doesn't do anything. Uh, it does a little bit. It would have been funny if it would have sent it for a ride. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to wind roll all this hay up now. We did it all. We've got all the hay raider rock and roll here. Uh, this is such a pain in here. I don't destroy this crop too badly. Okay, good. 
Awesome. All right. So, yeah. Once we finish this up, then it's just down to bailing. That's it. And then we've got to pick up the bales. Like, oh, man. There's just so many steps. So many steps. You know, you'd think it'd be, oh, yeah. I'll just get a bit of grass. Get a couple bales. No problem. We'll be done in no time. Nope. It's, uh... Yeah, like, this is a big job. As much as I think every time, it's like, yeah, I'll be done in no time. This end up's taking me more time than most harvests that I end up doing. That's ridiculous. Just because you just have to do so many more steps to get all the grass. Now, that being said, if I didn't do bales, that might be a little bit easier, right? I could go with a forage wagon. Um, let's see if I can grab this stuff here. Pull a Yui here. No. Um, I, yeah, so I could go with a barn on the farm instead of doing bales, which would probably save me a little bit. Because um, I wouldn't need to... Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't need to bale it. Uh, and then you could have a silage pit for the silage, obviously. That would be another option. I, I'm not totally unsold on that. I think that's just, uh, definitely a valid option. It would save you a lot on equipment, that's for sure. But you're still going to need to... I don't know. I still think you're going to want to windrow it just to make life a little bit easier for yourself because otherwise you're going to be doing this trek up and down the field with the um, the forage wagon like a dozen times. And this here just saves you so much more time. So you'll still need this. You'll still need to TED. So that doesn't get rid of that option. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know if that's a better option or not. We'll have to try that maybe at some point in time. But uh, for this farm, I'm pretty happy with it, doing it the way we've been doing it. It works. It works well. So we'll keep on working that way for now. Anyways, I'll finish this up and then we're just going to bail it. So, the one thing I really do enjoy actually when you TED this though is how fast you can make a bail. Let's see if I can back this up here. Get this all straightened out kind of off to the side here um yeah the little baler just goes nuts when it packs out these bales because you've got so many of them there we go now is this first one going to be straw do i have too much straw still in there ah oh, it is two that's annoying <laughs> anyways all right we'll get rid of that one first straw one whatever now the rest should be all hay bales perfect yeah, like you watch how fast these things are making hay bales. It is just crazy how many it throws out of this thing. Alright, so we've got quite a few here. I mean, let's see. How many are we going to get on this first row? It would be five, maybe? Five per row. Maybe uh, you know, 20 to 30, 30 bales we'll get. Something like that off of this field. That's actually not bad. That'll uh, that'll get us back in on track at least as far as our bales go. Um, but oh man, I still need to worry about corn. <laughs> that's all that's on my mind right now. So I am going to be uh, picking up and start and start seeding some corn because I need to get that field rocking and rolling. That big field right over there you can kind of see in the distance. Uh, but I need this tractor for it, so that's kind of why I'm doing this right now otherwise i'd already have somebody working away on that but this tractor is needed to pull that cedar it's also needed to pull all these implements uh yeah <laughs> you see the trend here i've been using this tractor for everything maybe it's time for um not an upgrade i mean this is, you're not gonna get much of an upgrade for this tractor but we do need more we i don't have enough i've only got two tractors down here that are capable of doing much of this type of field work that's the what is it the 6m and the 7 series that i've got here that's it guys so i did, maybe it's time for a buy i don't know i think that's why we might be coming up soon enough anyways we'll finish off uh, getting all these bales ready to go and i'm gonna go drop them off but as soon as the bales are done i'm gonna go send this tractor over and get him seedings because we're getting kind of desperate for corn i think um i don't know how many days i'll be able to survive in that for, without corn to be honest for those pigs so i want to get this going right away so i'll finish this off send him over there and we'll get the corn going guys all right let's go so I somehow almost forgot that uh, that cedar I have of the planter for the corn, yeah, it doesn't have a cultivator. <laughs> so 
well, here I am, cultivating. <laughs> this is actually fairly satisfying. I don't know, this is one of my favorite jobs, actually, is uh, using this big old cultivator here to, uh, to go to town on this stuff. This one is not bad. It's, uh, it's fairly big. And, oh, uh, go back, go back. Doesn't help when I uh, don't use it right, though. Let's try that again. There we go. Um, it's just a satisfying tool. Right after a after you've used lime as well to be able to see like the lime disappear. I don't know. I just enjoy that stuff. Let's see. Let's spin this back. Now this one here does obviously require a pretty powerful tractor in order to work, but uh, yeah, the 7 Series doesn't seem to have too many issues with it, that's for sure. I can zip this around there. Looks good. We're getting close to dusk here. I don't know how much more work we're going to be able to get done today. Uh, I might send a worker out to, 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 uh, to get this planted. Yeah, we'll get this finished up and we're going to work on planting on this. It doesn't look like we're going to get that other harvest, that other field harvested tonight. We'll have to wait till tomorrow. Eh, what do you do? Can't win them all. I was hoping to get that all, but it seems like... Uh, I don't know how that got missed, how that one side has ended up completely on a different growth schedule than the rest. It just doesn't make any sense. Uh, what do we got for grass back here? I think we have a little bit back in that top corner behind us here. We need more. Uh, we finished off grabbing all those bales, and that got us roughly... What is that, 30 bales? Something like that. It was The whole trailer was full, so that's not bad. That should do us for the time being. I'm not going to sit here and brag like I did before about how many bales I got because it was looking so good. And then, yeah, I let, let it go for a few days. And the next thing I know, I'm completely out of bales. <laughs> That's amazing how many bales I went through. I'm kind of surprised by that because that, that whole little shed over there was packed. Well, virtually packed at least. Um, yeah, we just ran out so fast. I just can't believe it still. All right. All right, let's finish this up, and we'll get that planter working. All right. All right, so cultivating this field is finally finished. Uh, let's get to planting. So we're going to be doing corn on this one, like I said. Uh, I want to get a lot of corn going here pretty fast, guys. Oh, man. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do a... Uh, I think just to see if I can get a worker to do this properly. I'm going to go around the whole way myself and do it that way first. We'll see. Maybe that'll work. Uh, I'm going to miss the corner there. That's okay. Let's raise this up. And we'll just go right to the end. A little piece at the end right there is kind of annoying. Anyway, so we, uh, we'll plant all the way around. We'll do corn here. and I'm planning on doing corn on one more of my big fields. I've got two other big fields to choose from. And I want to do corn on one of those. Now, to harvest corn is fine. That's not a problem. But I'm also thinking I'm going to harvest some chaff. I think that might be uh, something fun to get into as well. Now, I know there's some problems with the, uh, the silos. So we'll see how that's going to work out as far as the pits, the, uh, yeah, the chaff pits and the silage pits go. I know there's a few issues out there with those. So I do need to... I don't know. I don't know if I can examine it at all. I don't know what I can do about it, to be perfectly honest. Um, without actually physically doing it, I think I'm kind of stuck there. So I might as well just dive into it and do the best I can with it, really. <laughs> I don't think there's an option. Come on. All right. Perfect. Yeah, I know I don't have access. Thanks, Tips. Thanks so much for letting me know that. All right. So we've got this here field, like I said, is the uh, the one. And we've got this one here. It looks like we're getting some of the canola over there is almost ready to harvest again. I don't understand what is going on there. <laughs> There's something wrong with it. You can see it's now, it's like the behind the stuff that my harvester is sitting at is gone to, uh, it's ready to harvest. But the rest of it's still waiting. Uh, so I'm going to cultivate that. I think I'm going to put that one. Ah, oh, man. I've got, like I said, I've got a choice of this one here or the one in behind on the far side of my farm, kind of that direction behind those sheds. Ah, oh, man. I just don't know what to do with that. 
I might make just make this one barley right here because we don't have any barley or anything like that and eh, the cows could use some barley potentially too so our cows the pigs so maybe I'll make that one barley we'll have a nice big barley field that's a great option to be honest maybe we'll do that and then the far side we'll do that but um yeah I don't know what to do let's go with that I think that that's going to be our plan our final plan I'll put barley here and another cornfield on the far side now part of this cornfield is going to be going to the cow to the pigs so I think maybe this one here I might harvest it and just send it straight to the pigs the other cornfield that got planned uh I'm going to see if I can use that as chaff for chaff and uh we will go and send that into a pit now I don't want to put the pit all the way to the biogas plant that just seems like a long ways to go so maybe if I put a pit over here in the farm so we should probably examine that what our options are I could put it like right here unfortunately I was even thinking about making this a road because this is a pretty high traffic area right there I'm thinking maybe down in behind the shop there now the one thing I do have to think about of course is how do I get in and out of it um, obviously I'm going to need to bring uh, tractor trailer units in and out I'm already cramped in this little farm as is this thing grew fairly quickly um, and I didn't quite make it as big as I probably should have to be perfectly fair and honest I could have made it a lot bigger um, even this here spot might not be a bad area to put it this little green space right in front here this might not be a bad spot to put a pit so let's go take a look uh, once we get this guy I'm gonna get him one more spin here and uh, see if we can get that lined up somewhat so that he can just go after this but I'm thinking if we put a pit up front here, that might be our best bet. So, we'll t yeah, I think this here is probably going to be a best bet. So we'll have to discuss what we want to do. A single pit, a double pit, I don't know. What is going to serve our purpose? That is the question. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm going to make a, it's not going to be a big focus. So do I really want to go huge? Oh man, I don't even know. So many questions to think about here. All right, so let's get a worker bee going here. Let's go take a look at what pits we have available to us. Uh, boom, fire him in. All right, now this guy should be able to go to town and not cause us too many problems since I've already done a lap in theory, in theory. So let's go take a quick look here. Let him go, yeah. So this here ground right in here is where I'm thinking uh, might be a good spot to put one. So if we go to our silos, so these are the uh, the bunkers, obviously. I'm thinking we'll go with a double. Uh, there's some other ones I have in here. Uh, see, now these would be another option to have like a covered one. Is there another one? Or is that it? I think that's it. Yep. Um, the problem with these is it's only a one way. I cannot enter from the back side of it. Uh, I'm stuck with only being able to go in the front. Uh, that's kind of sketchy. <laughs> I, I like to be able to pull through. Um, do we dare try this one? I think we should. I, th I kind of want to try this bunker. I've had issues with the other bunkers. I'm curious to see if this will be any better. If it's not, I will find a way. We'll figure something else out. So let's try this one instead, guys. I think this will be... Um, we'll try this. Who knows what's going to happen. <laughs> now... Uh, we could make it so it accesses off this here small center area. That's probably the best idea. Or maybe I'll make a road that kind of comes in this area. So let's place that. Uh, let's see. Do I want to countersink? Back up, up a little bit here. So we have space to turn our trucks around. Because truck, like I said, our trucks are going to be coming in and out of here. That's going to be kind of one of the keys. I uh, don't want to countersink too much. Like right there. Okay, how did this turn out? Got lights. It's the same thing, we got lights over here too. Yep, okay. A little rain barrel. Okay, that looks good. Let's uh let's do a little bit of ground landscaping here as well. So uh where's the dirt? I think that's the dirt, is that the dirt? Might be. 
that'll work. Um, so this here area is going to be all for just the silo, obviously, to turn around in, in this area with our trucks. I hope this one works. It's just not a lot of space. This is pretty small. Did I, let me double check, make sure we got the right one. These other ones are so much bigger. Yeah, they are. It looks like it's chaff, chaff, and, chaff and grass. Yeah, they're the same. Okay. They look fairly small to me. They don't look like they have the capacity of the one. We'll see how that works out in the long run. I don't know what to expect out of that, guys. That looks pretty small. All right. So this one here is obviously going to come down and in. I've got the wrong dirt, don't I? I think I do. Maybe not. That looks okay. Looks just a little bit too... Too perfect for me. Alright, so we will finish this here all up. That looks alright. Connect this in. Uh, it's just too bad that uh, it won't connect all the way to the road. Okay. And then from here... You know what? I'm going to do a double track this way here. We'll see what happens. Make it kind of like a uh, a roadway. <laughs> See if this will work for me. I'll have to be a little bit extra careful here, I suppose. Just trying to keep it somewhat straight. Oh, man, I'm not good at that with a controller. This is not easy. See, now it looks like we've got a bit of a road that goes through here. That's kind of cool looking. It's a little bit different. And the key is to keep the grass in the middle, I think. That's, okay, that looks all right. I was worried that was going to look uh, kind of dumb, but that's not bad. All right, so we'll cut this all the way through. I'm going to go all the way down with this, I think, actually, guys. Make sure I go on the right side. That'd <laughs> be awkward. <laughs> get, up to, get up to the top and realize that it's not even close to the right side. Perfect. All right. So this is connected in now. Perfect. And you know what? Let's do something a little bit different here now as well. We'll just kind of connect this over to here. I don't really like where this is going in here, so I'm going to get this kind of a little bit bigger here. We'll make this road. I don't like this area. There we go. That's better. And we'll just make a little dirt track that kind of cuts up and around. Excellent. And let's get rid of some of this stuff here. Some of this stuff here. Make it look so it's kind of used, but not really. There we go. Perfect. Good enough for what I'm looking for right now. I might tweak this a little later on, but uh, that's all I was kind of looking for. Just a kind of an idea to give you an idea. There's a road that goes this way. That's all. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. All right, guys. Uh, see, I was should have done that more in here, but that's okay. Let's uh, we can always do some a little bit more adjusting with some of the gravel and the dirt looks in here. There's our dark dirt. There it is. And that will give it a bit more texture then, right? So. So that's always an option, and then kind of like right in here, make it a little bit more shiny right in the center, so it looks like it's a bit of a puddle that's always been formed in there. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll mess around with that a little bit as we go, guys. How are we doing over here? How's this guy doing? Working away? Awesome. All right, well, that's going to do it for that, guys. That's going to do it for us here as well today. Like I said, we're going to get this corn planted. Uh, we've got this one planting. We're going to do the far side. Maybe start off that tomorrow. We'll see. I've got this field here to plant with something. I've got the other field across the way to plant. We've got a lot of stuff going on. 
Uh, but I feel like I'm behind the eight ball trying to get caught up to with all the work that we did to that other farm. So we got to get on that. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And as always, guys, if you didn't like this video, well, go ahead, hit that down thumbs button. Let me know about it. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Anyways, that's about it for us today, guys. We'll talk to you next time. This is Clutch. Over and out. I, I, I,